There's something you should know about the Shia. In the age of information, ignorance is a choice. The Holy Quran says, O you who believe, if an evildoer comes to you with a report, look carefully into it, lest you harm a people in ignorance. Yet alas, when somebody receives some new information, they don't scrutinize, analyze, and verify, or even look carefully at it. There's tons of false information and misconceptions spread about the noble Shia school of thought. Here's 10 of them. Number one. Shias have a different Quran to the rest of the Muslims. Really? Well, have you ever seen this Shia Quran? Cause I haven't. There's millions of copies lying around in Shia mosques, homes and houses. Why don't you pop inside and take a look? The Holy Quran says, Surely we have revealed the reminder and we will most surely be its guardian. Nabato! Jibreel, the angel Gabriel, made a mistake giving the prophecy to the Holy Prophet Muhammad when he was supposed to give it to Imam Ali instead. No Shias believe that. In fact, Imam Ali prayed to Allah saying, Oh my God, oh the Creator, oh the Sustainer of the heavens and the earth, Send ever increasing blessings and favours on Muhammad, your servant and your prophet, the last and the final prophet of God. Number three, Shia worship the dead. <laughs> Subhanallah, no Islamic school of thought worships the dead. In Islam, whether Sunni or Shia, nobody worships other than Allah, the supreme, the sublime. This is the foundation stone of Islam. Anyone who worships other than Allah is automatically named a mushrik and falls outside the folds of Islam altogether. Number four. Shias believe that Allah lies. No, Shias and Sunnis don't even have a disagreement when it comes to this. I mean, who's spreading this? Who? who? Number five. Shias don't pray the five daily prayers. No! Shia Muslims pray, like all Muslims, five separate prayers a day. According to Shia fiqh, the rulings, it is permissible to combine the afternoon prayers and the evening prayers. Now that doesn't mean that they pray Zohar and Asr as one big eight rakat prayer, no. It means that after finishing the Zohar prayer, they pray Asr. Similarly, after finishing the Maghrib prayer, they pray Isha. Why? Because the Holy Prophet did this. And there are numerous ahadith to support this. One of these is from the famous narrator of the Sunni world, Ahmad bin Hanbal, the Holy Prophet used to pray noon and afternoon prayers and in the same way evening and night prayers without the fear of enemy or without the excuse of travel. Then again he narrates this tradition from Jabir ibn Zayd who narrated from Ibn Abbas that I used to pray the eight rakats of noon and afternoon prayers and seven rakats of evening and night prayers together with the Holy Prophet. So you see praying the Zuhr and Asr prayers together and the Maghrib and Isha prayers together certainly has its precedence. The Holy Prophet did this himself. Having said that it's not compulsory to combine the prayers and many Shia Muslims do separate the prayers with a short break in between. Number six. Shias practice self-mortification, takbir, khamazani, cutting themselves with blades and swords. Today, if you try and Google Shia Muslims, you'll be bombarded with images and videos of people drenched in blood practicing self-mutilation. Muslims being misrepresented. What's new? In order to truly understand what the stance of Shia Islam really is, you have to go to the Quran and Hadith. And the highest authority in the Shia world, the scholars who have best understood these sources, are the Grand Ayatollahs, known as Majas. When asked about it, the leader of the Islamic Ummah, Grand Ayatollah Khamenei, said, any practice that causes bodily harm or leads to defaming the faith is haram. Similarly, Grand Ayatollah Sistani said, those actions which are not understandable and cause misunderstandings and contempt for the religion must be avoided. In fact, if we take a quick look at the history of Tatbir, we'll soon find that this practice in this shape and form never existed in the time of the Prophet or the 12 Imams and originated around 200 years ago. Yitshak Nakash in his article, An Attempt to Trace the Origin of the Rituals of Ashura, says the flagellations were introduced into central and southern Iran as well as Iraq only in the 19th century. And the Shia have existed for a longer time than that. Number seven. Shias worship rocks. No, just no. Number eight. Shias hate the companions of the Prophet and slander and curse his wives. Now this is a historical debate which often becomes more heated than it needs to. Unlike some other schools of thought, Shia Muslims believe that history is a valid branch of knowledge on which to base our stances towards certain companions and wives of the Holy Prophet. Historical debates have their place and mainstream Shia Muslims maintain 
that utmost respect must be shown to Sunni brethren when discussing such issues. Cursing is not respectful. The leader of the Muslim Ummah, Grand Ayatollah Khamenei, has famously stated, disrespecting the pure wives of the Prophet should be avoided. The Prophet's wives are all respectable. Anyone who insults any of them has insulted the Prophet. I resolutely declare this offensive. The commander of the faithful, Imam Ali, treated her eminence, Aisha, in such a respectful manner. He treated a woman who had come to fight against him with the utmost respect because she was the Prophet's wife. You see, in this example, there is no denying that Aisha, the wife of the Prophet, went to war against Imam Ali, according to historical evidence. And our stance is that of Imam Ali, who showed her the utmost respect, did not curse or insult her. Now, there are some who do curse and slander and insult the companions and the wives of the Holy Prophet. These people do not in any way represent the noble Shia school of thought. But the reason you're more likely to hear them is because ignorance has a louder voice and empty vessels make more noise. And no one should know better than the Muslims what it feels like to be misrepresented by a bunch of idiots. <laughs> you see, we Muslims always complain that, oh, we're being misrepresented. And oh, don't judge us by what a minority of the people do. Similarly, we must not fall into the trap of generalizing an entire school of thought just because of the inappropriate actions of a few. Number nine, Shias believe Imam Ali is God. Imam Ali is that man who describes God, praising him, saying, Praise is due to God, whose worth cannot be described by the describer, whose bounties cannot be counted by the enumerators, whose claim cannot be fulfilled by those who attempt to do so. Imam Ali was a worshipper of the one God, a creation of the one God, a lover of the one God. In fact, it was in the state of prostration to the Almighty Allah that Imam Ali was martyred. His entire life was dedicated to serving the one God and his life is an example for both Sunnis and Shias to follow. Nabatan. Shia is a new concept. People have been led to believe that the concept of being a Shia is a new thing and an innovation. But this is far from the truth. Now, the word Shia means follower of or partisan of and is famously used to refer to the followers or the partisans of Ali, the first of the 12 Imams and the fourth Khalif. Many have been told that the word Shia doesn't exist in the Holy Quran. Well, contrary to popular opinion, it does. The Holy Quran says, and most surely Ibrahim was among the Shia of him. Prophet Ibrahim here is being described as a Shia of Nuh. In fact, the first person to coin the term Shia of Ali was none other than the Holy Prophet himself. He said to Imam Ali, Glad tidings, O Ali. Verily, you and your companions and your Shia will be in paradise. Thus, you can see the Holy Prophet used to use this phrase, Shia of Ali. And it's not something which was invented later on. The Messenger of Allah said, The Shia of Ali are the real victors on the day of resurrection. When somebody receives some new information, they don't even look carefully at it, regardless of how bizarre, bewildering and baseless the information is.